Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to our last day on our cruise. It's bittersweet because we've had so much fun, but also we're excited tomorrow to get to go home and see our babies too, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. And big, big day today because today is actually our 15th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, Did it. baby. We made it 15 years. I can't believe it's been 15 years. That's, 15 years. That's crazy. Like pulled off the biggest con ever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> We had such a we had such a good time this trip, but we're finishing it out today. Today is another day at sea. I was able to sleep till like seven a.m. this morning. Yay. That's the best I've done so far. Very happy. Although their alarm clocks were going off at six, and I turned it off before I went to bed. So I don't know. What we went back to sleep till seven. Um, got up this morning. I finished the book that I was reading, so I got one more to go today. Mm. See if I can get it done. I've had like this very low level headache for like the last couple days. So I'm Where's really it's right over this side. <laughs> so I'm ready for it to go away. Um, but we're getting ready for sea day brunch, which was really good the first sea day. So hopefully it's good again. What are you gonna get? I don't know. Did you get there and look at the menu? It's the same menu as before. Oh. Uh, I don't know. We're, I'm gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Maybe I'll switch it up. And then what's Maybe the? Maybe I won't. <laughs> you had? Would you have fried chicken and waffles last time? Yeah, I don't want that again. Um. Maybe I'll do pancakes. Yeah, those look good. Anyway, so what's our plan for today? Well, there is a show at two. It's the Around the World show. There so, is. Yeah, Around that's the World show. Because they're doing the Love and Marriage show tonight. Oh, so the that, world works here. Yeah, it's like an Around the World show. And then uh, there is a 7.30 comedy PG that we can go to before we go to... But we can't go to that because we're going to the steakhouse oh, tonight. Oh, that's right. We ended up making reservations for the specialty dining here. We weren't planning on doing it because that is an extra charge. But we had an anniversary trip. But it's our anniversary today. There was an opening. We didn't get to go to our excursion. And so we this thought... This is our excursion. This would be fun. It's $50 a person. But... We couldn't go to any steakhouse and get this nice of a meal for a hundred bucks. No. Um, they got like filet mignon, they got seafood, they got all different kinds of like appetizers, risotto, and all this stuff, lobster bisque. Mm -hmm. So, from what I've heard, this meal includes an appetizer, a soup, a salad, an entree, and a dessert. Five course meal. Yeah. So we're excited about that. We're going that there at seven, so we won't be able to go to the comedy club. But oh well, it's okay. We, like we've told y'all, the the comedian, one of the other comedians missed the boat. He missed his flight. And so we, we've only had this one other comedian. And it just, yeah. we've only been to one show, granted. But they haven't had a lot of PG shows. Um, I, the other guy must have been more of the PG. Yeah, he's been more family friendly. And um, so we went to one. It wasn't that great. So um, also tonight there is, what's tonight? The Love and Marriage Love Show. And marriage. We always try to go to that. Yeah, it's always hilarious. It's always really funny. Um, so we're just going to see. We're going to see what we get into today. I'm excited to relax a little bit more, read some books, mm -hmm. just try to soak in our very last day before we get back mm -hmm. to reality. I mean, tomorrow is pretty much going to be traveling all day. So Also, make sure you watch this video to the very end because we have a huge announcement. To make at the end By of the this time video. they're watching us, they probably already know the announcement. Well, unless they don't follow us on social you media. Don't follow us. Okay, so stay tuned. I'll let you make that announcement at the end. Okay. Um. Anyway, so we're gonna go to C Day brunch. Are you excited? I am. I'm excited for coffee for the most part. Yeah, let's get some coffee. All right, we're gonna go check in. Um, and then we'll see you guys there, and we'll vlog today and see how it goes. Just right? has two heads. <laughs> I love you guys. We'll see you at brunch. You have this whole table. <laughs> We're having dinner with the disciples. Breakfast. <laughs> um, oatmeal to start. You got cheese grits. Yes, I did. And coffee. So they ended up sticking some people with us. So anyway, I didn't get a picture or a video of this, but I wanted y'all to see it. This was amazing. It was a skillet cake with like marshmallow and guava or something but it was so good if you ever go to sea day brunch i highly recommend this dish if you can get it all right you guys so i 
did a clip where I explained what we did this morning and it's not here. I can't find it. So I'm going to do this little voiceover here to tell y'all. We After breakfast, which was amazing, we tried to go out to the deck and lay in the sun and read and whatever. Well, it started raining a little bit. So we came inside. We sat at the promenade and then we got a cup of coffee at the coffee bar. We've been wanting to try it. It is an extra cost, but it wasn't that expensive. It was like four or five dollars for like a latte, which I thought was not terrible. Um, so we both got one of those. David got like an iced frap or something and I got a hot latte. It was really good. And then um, after we hung out here for a little while, we went to the library to play a game. They have all different types of board games and stuff. So that's where you'll see us next. But inside the library, I did like a little clip telling you all this and then somehow it got deleted. So let's go back to the library so I can finish what, you know, I'm telling you. I had to like put y'all down real quick because some people came in. It was a little awkward um, to have the camera out. <laughs> they came in there for like two minutes and they were like, it's too cold. We got to go out. So fine by me. Um, so here is the plan for the rest of the afternoon. Um, there's going to be like a world show, like around the world or something where they, sh I guess, talk about the different nationalities on board, all the crew members and stuff. So we're going to go to that. I think it, did I say 1230? I think it's at like 1.30. And then we're really excited at three o'clock, the cruise director is going to do a Q and A and talk about like what it's like living on a cruise ship, how he became a cruise director. I'm really interested in that because I like to follow people who work on cruise ships, like on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. I think it's so fascinating. Their life is so interesting and different because they travel so much. Um, they really don't have like days off or anything. So it must be really hard, but also like a really cool job too. And then we'll probably just chill the rest of the afternoon and we have the steakhouse reservations at seven. So that's kind of the plan. David's back. <laughs> I had to stop for a minute because some other people came in and anyway, it was weird, but, um, they, they left, they left because they said it was too cold in here. <laughs> It, which it is cold in here, feels good to me. but yeah, it feels good. So we've got the library to ourselves. See, yeah. Ooh. I've shown you all the library before, but I like this space. It's pretty neat. And this table is oh, jank. We're definitely we're going to move to another table. But anyway, I wanted to update y'all on our morning and we're going to play some Yahtzee and then just kind of have a rainy, a rainy day, day, rainy lazy day. No before, way to finish our trip than that. That's right. We needed some lazy days. I'm I'm bummed that our excursion got canceled, but also it has allowed us. To, I feel like we're so far away from each other in here. <laughs> Tears are cold. It is it is cold in here. <laughs> it's cold, which is funny because I've seen so much on Facebook. There's like Facebook groups for this cruise ship. Yeah, is it in there? No. Oh, get the other one. There's another. One. Um, I saw so many people talking about how hot the cruise ship was and how like just miserable and hot it was, but we have not found that. It has been cool everywhere. Our room has been nice and cool for the most part. So anyway, I'm sorry if y'all are seeing nudity in here. There's some art in here that <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we didn't... <laughs> I just realized, um, I'm standing, I'm y'all are standing right by Naked, naked person. Okay. See y'all later. We've had a great afternoon. We went to lunch. Of course, we had another guy's burger because it was our last opportunity to. Literally my favorite bur burger of all time is on a carnival ship, which means I don't get to have it very often. Um, we went to this show, the last show they did. It's called like something around the world and it's celebrating all the different nationalities of the crew on board. And then the... Um, entertainment staff did some music. It was really good. And then we went to the Q and a with a cruise director. That was really interesting too. They also had the director of a, of all the hotel management, like all the room stewards and person that organizes all that, um, answering questions too. 
It was really cool. So we learned that our cruise director, who is seriously the best cruise director we've ever had, so, such a cool guy. This is only his fifth time to be cruise director on this ship. So we're his fifth group of guests, and he's from London, England. And um, anyway, he just started with Carnival, and we really like him. So George from England, if you ever have him, he's great. And then... We were going to do the Taylor Swift trivia, but we were pretty ready just to get back to our room and chill. I read some of my book. I'm not very far into that book at all. Um, and now it's like 5 o'clock. We had to go out there to check our phones. And um, we're waiting on this package at home for Lucy's dress-up day tomorrow. It was supposed to come today. They still hadn't gotten it. And so I was trying to um, talk them through logging into our Amazon account to check what's going on with it. If it, you know, was delayed or if it was still scheduled to be delivered today. And so <laughs> we're trying to like get them into Amazon, but Amazon is like so secure and it's trying to send us codes to let, you know, make sure that it's allowing, but we can't get the message. We can't get the message from Amazon saying, here's your code, security code to let them have it and all this Anyway, we finally got it, and then we realized that the package was delivered yesterday to the church. Somehow, the wrong shipping address got entered, but the good news is, is they are having church tonight because it's Wednesday night, so we're hoping, now we've got to get in touch with somebody at the church <laughs> to see if they can get the package so they can go get it from them, but anyway, I think it's going to work out. Um, David's finishing up handling that. Lucy was so disappointed. I'm going to stop moving around because the camera is like, what is going on? Lucy is so disappointed, or she was. Now she's happy, but she was so disappointed because she wants this dress up. I don't even think I've told you all about this. They're having dress up all week. <laughs> of course, the week I'm gone. It's like all these dress up days. Um, and tomorrow is like dressed like a movie character. And she wanted to be Vanellope from Wreck Wreck-It Ralph. And so we found this costume and it was supposed to be delivered... To, uh, today and the dress-up days tomorrow. I knew that was gonna be a tight turnaround. But anyway, I think we've got it worked out. Hopefully they can go get it from the church office. Um, I'm gonna get ready for dinner. So a little bit of a bummer news about dinner. We decided to cancel our steakhouse reservation. Um, we have just been fooded out. Like we're just so overloaded and full. I'm just like, do we really want to pay a hundred dollars for us to go have, I mean, it is our anniversary. That's why we booked it tonight. It's our anniversary. It would have been fun to have like a really fancy dinner, but at the same time, we're like, we can go eat for free in the dining room. The food's been great. Let's just do that. So we ended up canceling our reservation. I do want to try it one day, but maybe like earlier on in the cruise. Um, Anyway, we're going to go do that. And then tonight is the love and marriage little game show they do. And it's always really fun. We've watched, we always watch that. So that's kind of our evening. Um, everybody's getting ready to disembark tomorrow. So for disembarkation, there's a couple of different options. You can carry your own luggage off and just walk off. As soon as the ship is clear around eight o'clock tomorrow, we could just walk off with our luggage that's what we normally do, um, but our suitcase broke. Like the wheel came off of it on the way here. I don't know why the lighting in here is keep going up and down. Nothing has changed. Um, so it is a pain for us to, they won't roll correctly. And so they have like these carts and stuff that they use. So they can just put them on that and you can choose for them to take them off and you pick them up in the lobby of the it's called the port terminal so we're going to do that but the con of that is you have to have your suitcase outside your door by like 10 o'clock tonight so we need to kind of pack up a little bit and get our suitcase ready to go which is kind of a bummer y'all look at the what a cute little bird so cute the little beak so cute. And it says, we know you need to head out at 8.30 a.m. So just in case we miss you tomorrow, your stateroom attendant. And, and I wanted to say thanks for hanging out with us. It was so much fun. So we've had a great, there's a couple people like that have gone above and beyond on our cruise ship and our room steward is one of them. So I'm definitely going to be like giving him a shout out on the customer service forms and stuff because he's been amazing. Um, 
they always, all the people that work on these ships just work so hard. And we learned in the Q and a that most of them get contracted out for six to eight months and then they get two months back at home and they do it again. Here's David. Hold on. It is now like almost 11 o'clock and I haven't really updated y'all. So we're finishing up the vlog. Um, we went to dinner. I think that was right what we were about to do when I talked to y'all last. Dinner was really good. I'm, I'm kind of glad we ended up canceling the steakhouse because we had a great dinner and it cost $0. So, um, if it's free, it's, it's for, for me. me. We actually did not hardly spend any money on this cruise. People, I, I see that question come up like, how much money, you know, can you expect to spend? And it really just depends on, how like, and I'm talking about extra things that aren't included. Um, obviously, we had to pay for our room and all that, but how it depends on there? what you do. Um, if you want to, you know, play a lot of bingo, if you want to drink, if you want to buy extra stuff like coffees and a lot of excursions. excursions, all of that, it can add up quick. Um, you know, we did buy the excursion, but we got that refunded. We got our port freeze refunded. So by the time all of that was refunded, we actually are coming out with more than we came in with. So that's pretty good. We actually had a credit on our account. So we had to go cash that out. I'm like, I bet most people don't go out of a cruise with a credit. <laughs> I bet most of the time you, you, owe you owe money going out. So that was a good thing. But anyway, maybe one day we'll do the steakhouse. Um, what did you have for dinner? David said he had the, like the best pork chop of his life. It was amazing. It was an amazing pork chop. That is a word I never would say because I hate pork chops, but you had fried green tomatoes. I had fried green tomatoes. That was the Emerald selection. And I made David also order it. So I kind of some more because they give you like these two tiny little ones, but you ate one of them. I so I had three, you had one. Yeah, it was pretty good. And then I had, they had a salad. It was like an entree size salad. I did take a picture of it. It was like an Asian, I forgot to take a picture of the fried green tomatoes. I was too excited. Um, but it was like an entree size salad. It was like a Asian chicken chop salad. It was really interesting because I've never had an Asian salad that had like cubes of cheese. Like Asian stuff doesn't normally have cheese in it, but it would, it worked. It was really good. It was like, Asian dressing and it had like these fried pieces of chicken and then it had like um chickpeas and like rice noodles it was really good so I got that but I also wanted to try the Indian vegetarian meal I got the same th I got the Indian vegetarian meal yesterday and I really loved it I have discovered that I really like Indian food but it's not something I have very often because my dad doesn't like Indian food, but my mom loves it, so I probably get it from her. But um, it's not something that we eat a lot, obviously. Like, the kids probably wouldn't like it. I don't know. We just never – there's one Indian place in our town, and we've never been. But I've I've made butter chicken before. That's really the only thing I've ever had. Um, but I love – You ever take the masala? I probably have had that at some point. Um, but I want to go to, like, an authentic Indian restaurant, but – here on board, I mean, there's people from India, obviously. I feel like it's pretty authentic. And all every single dining, um, nighttime dinner service has some sort of vegetarian Indian dish. So that is right up my alley because I'm not a big meat eater. So I don't even know what this was, honestly. I have no idea. It was some sort of, like, vegetable thing. And then this, like, sauce that you put on the rice. It was so good. And the little, it's not non bread, it's like a chip kind of a texture thing. I don't even know, y'all, but it was delicious. And then they had baked Alaska for dessert. And David's never had baked Alaska, but I knew he was going to love it because it's ice cream. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's kind of like an ice cream cake that they set aflame <laughs> to. And it's really good. It's like a cruise ship thing. Like, I've only ever seen it on cruise ships. They probably have it other places too, but I usually see it on there. And so I had that and had some fruit. And it was all really good. And then after that, what did we do? We went and listened to some more NRG music. That's like our favorite band on the ship. There's been some really great music. There's this group that does strings. But they do like popular current songs. Like they were doing Despacito and The Shape of You and all these current songs. But like 
with stringed instruments. It's really good. But our favorite band is called NRG. NRG, but like energy. And they're just really good. Um, they sang in the show last night, but they have like little sets in one of the bars here. And we just go and listen to them. They're really good. So we went there for a little bit, but it's so crowded. They need to give them a bigger space because it's a small like bar and there's not a lot of places to sit and it gets so packed out. So we listened to them for a little bit, and then we went to the Love and Marriage show, and it's always a highlight on the cruises, on the cruise, we've been to every single one, has a marriage, like, it's kind of like the newlywed game, but it's always hilarious one tonight, was no, hands down, like, probably, do you think it was the best one we went to? There were moments that were good. Really funny. We, like we've told y'all in the last videos, we love our cruise director, he makes everything so funny, and we just really like him. And so, and there was um, the older, they usually pick, like, a young, like, just married couple, and then they pick, like, an older couple, and then they pick somebody in the middle. That's how they usually do it. But the older couple tonight was just, they were just so precious, and everybody just fell in love with him, and so it kind of made the show so funny. But they came and got our suitcase. So we are down to just our toiletry bag and the clothes we're going to change into tomorrow. So that's all good. Um, we are in the Mississippi River now. We're out of the we're out of the ocean, the Gulf, and we're headed back to New Orleans. They said, I think I told you guys this. If you could hear me out there, um, we got into the Mississippi around 9 p.m. and we don't get to New Orleans till 5 a.m. So that's a long way to go to get back but um we went out there and you could see a little bit but not much so anyway um we we're turned on our phones to see if we could get cell service but it's not very strong right now so we're gonna get up pretty early in the morning we have to be out of our room by 8 p.m or 8 p.m i wish <laughs> 8 15 a.m so we're gonna go to breakfast and all that and then we'll be getting ready to head out of here and we have to drive home tomorrow we're so excited to see our, our kids, though. We are so excited to see our kids. It's been, I think, the longest we've been away from them, both of us. In a while, yeah. I don't know if, if ever. It probably has been. I don't think I've ever left them for six days. The last cruise? Well, yeah, but Mark wasn't born yet. Right. Long so long as we've ever left all three of them. Agreed. And we're so thankful for our parents, both sides, stepping up and helping us out and like I said, like they're handling dress up days, of course, <laughs> it's homecoming week. I didn't think about that when we scheduled this. So they're having to do dress up days and, you know, run everybody to practices and all that. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. Second day in a row at sea and home tomorrow. It has been a good anniversary. It's been an amazing trip. I'm sad. It's like bittersweet. I'm sad it's over. But I do think five days is a good sweet spot. A five-day cruise feels like you've been gone long enough to actually feel like you've gotten away. Um, seven days, I think, is perfect. But it's hard for us to get away longer than. Because five days, also, also you got to think of the travel time there and all that. So it's six nights, seven, almost seven days that we are gone. So... It's it's hard to do any longer than that. But honey, what have you thought? I've enjoyed it. How about you? I just I said. I said no, you <laughs> I want to be inclusive. I'm all about being inclusive with everything with her. But no, I've enjoyed it. I agree. I think with what I do for a living, especially burning two Sundays in a row, that would be hard. Is tough. So. We would have to do it to where we went like like Monday through Monday. Friday of the next week or something. That would, that would be seven days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if we did longer than seven days, it's where Sunday's kind of in the middle. Yeah. Where we've had on both sides of it. Maybe so. one day. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, this was no. perfect. I would do this exact same ship again. I yeah. would do the same itinerary again. I mean, it is a great experience going out. They have another ship, Liberty, I think. The Liberty, which it is their flagship. It's not their flagship. Oh, the Jubilee is their flagship. Yeah, the Liberty is the other one that goes out of New Orleans. And it's a seven-night cruise. So, my hand's getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> but, I need to get a camera hold. I know. Uh, it, it's so funny because I have my camera out a lot. I've seen no one else with their cameras. Everybody yeah. has their phones. I'm like, man, times have changed. I saw a couple people with 
video cameras. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you ready for bed? I'm tired. Just about. We need to tell them the big announcement. Oh, yeah. You go for it. I said you were going to let I was going to let you do it. I will let you guys in. So a lot of you probably already know this. Because we've been sharing Because we've been sharing it on our social media and on our, uh, on our community page. But we have a podcast. Jess and I have decided to take our relationship public. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but take it into the listening ears. And so we're doing a podcast called Married 15 to Life. And we wanted to start it on our 15th anniversary. And uh, we're going to keep it that because even though we will not always be married for 15 years, we're going to go higher in number. But we can always say we started this podcast when we had been married 15 years. So 15 to life. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, where we're at in our life. We're going to share stories of the past years. Uh, we're going to talk about real things that we're going through. How tired she is. <laughs> to try um, things that make us weary. Things that wear us out. Um, and also the biggest thing I'm really looking forward to is we're going to be answering your questions. So um, when you go to listen uh, leave questions in the comments. There's going to be an email address that you can uh, send questions to, which is married 15 to life at email.com. I believe that's it. Or is it gmail.com? One of the two. I think it's email.com. Um, but I am really excited about it. I know we, you are as well. Yeah. And it's then, been fun so far. We're excited yeah. to keep recording those. So I will link it down below. So yes. go over there. Hit subscribe. We're planning on dropping episodes weekly. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to miss out. If one goes up, you want to be subscribed for that. Like yeah. I said, I'll link it down below. And if, that, if there's topics you'll want us to cover, maybe not questions specifically, but maybe like, hey, you know, we've always wondered this about you too. Throw those topics out there and maybe eventually we can get to as many of those as we can. We're excited. Yeah. All right, wrap it up, honey. All right. So what can the, let's do some sort of wedding emoji because it is our 15th. Wedding bells, bride, the rings, groom, the rings. Anything yes. wedding. And we can't wear our rings right now because we've lost weight. So. Matter of fact, they asked tonight, what's your favorite prize possession? For me, it's the one thing I can't wear. We're kind of bloated uh, right now. So I, I told David. We they might can fit back we probably again probably now. wear it right now. No, but I, I miss I, I, I find myself doing this a lot, wishing I had it. My thumb does this. We're going to get them resized. Everybody's yeah. like, why well, haven't you got them resized? Because we're still losing weight. Yes. And we don't want to have to resize them like a bunch of different times. And also, I know people are going to say like, how much weight have y'all gained and all that. It, we enjoyed our time. Yeah. We're getting right back. We're going to take a week, de-cleanse, and try to get back on track. And then once we have that week to re-catch up. We're going to be fine. We'll be it's fine. It's going to come off. We'll get back on it. We, enjoy, we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves, but yeah. I'm also looking forward to kind of getting back to regular life. Me too. Back to our normal food, all of that. But it's been so fun. I mean, cruising is just... If it's you're the best the vacation. Fence and you've never done cruising, just try you it. You gotta do it. Try it. Now, when we first got married, you had never done cruising. Right. I convinced him to do it for our honeymoon. And I love it. What did you think going into it? Did you think it was going to be like it is? or I, I just... A lot of the, the preconceived things is, do you really get your money's worth? Um, you're, Could you how, imagine how big the ships that, are? That's the other thing. is is You're on a boat all this time. Sure, there's not that much to do on the boat. And then, okay, you're going to get off the boat and back on the boat and off the boat and back on the boat. And it, just try it. And, and it's it, like its own it, little city. It really is. It's, it's the best vacation ever. We want to eventually be able to take our kids on mm -hmm. cruises when they, when they get a little bit older. Yeah. But also like cruising also has like childcare, like yep. free. You can put them in their kids clubs. They even have, mm -hmm. we saw like in the, in the schedule and stuff, they have hours like into the midnight 1am yeah. where they'll watch your kids and do fun stuff with them. And it's like exciting, fun stuff. Not like, yep. Stick them in a room. Yeah, where your kids are excited and they want to go back tomorrow and do it again. Yeah. yeah. So, it's. I mean, the value in cruising when you think about your transportations included, your rooms included, your all your included. foods included, um, entertainment, all of that stuff. It's just such a good value. Yeah. And I like. I know we missed a port day, but yeah. I love the sea days. They're my favorite anyway. Yeah. So much fun. So Because your favorite thing to do is sit and read. But we haven't just done that. We've no. done so much this cruise. Yeah. We've done, think just think about it. All yeah. the shows. Yeah. All of the trivia, the music. Mm -hmm. What else have we done? Yeah. Um, just trying things new. Mm -hmm. You know, 
and just the, the biggest thing is with both our lives to be able to do things together that are not talk about kids and talk about church and talk about us where we get to listen to music together and reflect and on it's that. it's nice too because like yeah. you can definitely unplug because you don't really have – you can pay for internet, but it's not very strong. So, yeah. you know, we only have a social media plan. So really you're not getting calls and texts yes. and, and, you know, all that stuff. It, get, it really lets you detox from social media and unplug from the outside world and just remember why you fell in love and why you're a family. And, oh, by the way, what you're experiencing right now the last five minutes – this is, the, this is what the podcast sounds like. So yeah. if you like listening to us talk back and forth like this, another good reason, go subscribe to the podcast and share it with somebody that you really want to hear. So. I'm really tired. Me too. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. we got an early day tomorrow. Leave us the emoji down below. If you like the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. We have one more vacation video. We're going to vlog tomorrow. Going on. Showing home. you the whole disembarkation process and then also... The drive home. We have, what, seven hours ahead of us. Yep. We have a couple of things we'd like to do on the way, but the biggest thing is we just want to get home safely to our babies. And I know everybody, probably when you guys are watching this, it's not as big a deal, but everybody's messaging us saying, I hope you're safe with the hurricane. There's a hurricane coming. Thankfully, <laughs> but we're, we're not anywhere yeah, near we're it. We're not in its wake. It's going to hit the Florida panhandle and mainly cut through Georgia. We have a lot of friends out there, so we are praying for their safety, especially our friends in Georgia from being well, People there. are saying, like, it must be rough seas. It's not been at all. No. We had one night of really rough kind of... Well, I think we were kind of in the wake of what was building out there. And we kind so. of got away from it and over and... Um, yeah. They, they really do go around a lot of stuff. A lot of people say, I don't want to cruise because I'm scared. Like, they go around bad weather. They are in constant communication with the mainland and the weather service, so they know and exactly the, like, what to do. all technology and stuff. Like, yes. it's so high tech. Yes. So. And normally they cruise, no pun intended, at a pretty good speed. They went fast to get ahead of this. They, they're they big on security and safety for the yeah. passengers. Yep, 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 yep. So we love you guys. We'll see you all tomorrow. Be, be good. Be safe. See y'all later.